If you've been around on the channel for any amount of time, you know I'm quite a fan of, well, Subarus. So let's talk about it. And today we're gonna to be talking about why I particularly chose to build, well, a Subaru Forester for my Overland rig when there is so many other options. And like I said, if you've been around the channel for a long time, you know, well, this channel started with that STI and the amazing community around there. And for the first couple years, that STI was the only car on this channel. I went ahead, modified it from stock, took it to car meets and had a bunch of fun with it. And while modifying and driving that car was a blast, as we know, turboed Subarus don't make the best daily. So I wanted to get something as a daily driver, but also something that live in Alberta, I could take on my adventures. So that's why I started looking for, well, a Subaru Forester. And well, that leads us to the first point of why I chose a Subaru and specifically this Subaru Forester behind me. I wanted something affordable. As I said, it is my daily, so one of the things was it can't run premium fuel. As much as I love the turbo fun, it is not great on your wallet when you're driving something that has a turbo, particularly a boxer engine. It drinks fuel pretty fast. So it needed to be affordable. And with that also came the initial cost of purchasing the vehicle. These Foresters, they're getting old. This one's a 2004. And when you can find them in the 200 to 300,000 kilometer range, you can find pretty good deals. And well, besides affordability of both the upfront cost and the cost driving it, you also want your daily to be well comfortable driving it. You spend a lot of time driving it. When you're planning road trips or overland adventures that have you sitting in the driver's seat for eight to 12 hours a day, you wanna make sure it's comfortable. So that was the second reason why I went with a Forester. But I can hear you yelling through your screen right now. There's so many vehicles that are both affordable and nice to drive that aren't Subarus. And well, you would be correct until we start talking about off-road performance. Then that really starts to narrow things down. Subaru has been well known for their symmetrical all-wheel drive. They have been working on it since the days of their early rally cars, and they've been refining it to their consumer models. So not only does this give you a nice drive on the road, exactly what I'm looking for, but it also gives you the confidence when you're going off-road. Subaru's all-wheel drive is an all-time all-wheel drive, and it does take a little bit of your gas mileage, but when you're off-road and your Subaru starts sending wheel power to the wheels that you want it to, you're gonna be thankful that you have it. And not only does it supply power to all four of the wheels, it does it in a really good job. Subarus have been put up against other all-wheel drive platforms and 99% of the time, Subarus are on top. Just look at what the Subaru community in Australia has been doing since, well, even before the release of the SG Forester. And well, like so many of you said, Subarus aren't the only option and they're far from the most capable option. But with a Subaru, you have a lot of fun doing it. It makes even relatively nice, easy obstacles a lot of fun because you have to drive these in a manner that you would not drive a typical four x four. You have to think about where you're placing your wheels because when you start lifting wheels and open diffs, you lose all your power. So it makes driving, well, a little more challenging off-road, a lot more fun. And this smaller footprint also allows you to get into tighter and trickier spots, which again allows you to navigate maybe a little bit better and be able to have a better placement on the trail. I know on a lot of my adventures that we've taken this car, being able to kind of maneuver myself along the side of the trail or get into a place where maybe a typical 4x4 wouldn't actually has given me an advantage in navigating the trails. And if anything ever does go wrong, you know that you'll have the Subaru safety on your side. Subarus are highly regarded as one of the safest vehicles on the road. They always do really well in safety tests. And if you check out any forum, you'll always see people commenting and posting about some crazy accidents they've been and accidents they've walked away from because they were driving Subarus. And it's not even just the new Subarus like these ones. It is stuff older like my STI and my Forester and even stuff farther than that. They have a great reputation for protecting the occupants in the car and making sure that the crumple zones work as intended, not sending the engine into you, but sending underneath the car due to the design of the boxer. And then finally, I probably have the biggest reason of why I've always just stick with Subaru. It's the community. It's people like you guys that have made this possible. More cars the now. The it's, it's been extremely supportive hours, so and welcoming community from the days that I've had the SDI showing up the car meets, the days I've taken that to autocross and know no one at the start of the meet and then have some great friends by the end of it. As well as people in the ever-growing adventure community that drive Subarus. There's so many groups, there's so many meetups and everyone is just so welcoming and supportive. 
It doesn't matter if you have a brand new Subaru and you're trying to figure out what to do with it, or you have something built like my Forester and you're looking to push the limits. There's always a community that is welcoming and ready for you. And there you go. Now you know why after seven years, I've continued sticking with Subarus and I have no plan on leaving them anytime soon. And just before you go, one last thing. If you're like me and found yourself in this amazing community of like-minded individuals, Consider supporting the channel with memberships or even just dropping a comment down below. And don't forget to check out Flat 4 Off-Road, one of my businesses that is focused on supporting this amazing community by providing support and building adventure Subarus like mine. But that is gonna be it. So I'll see you in the next adventure.